it's 7.06 in the morning. I don't have a class until, well, my schedule today is, I have a 9 a.m. to 9.50, and then I have a 10 a.m. to 10.50, and my last class is 1 p.m. to 1.50, I believe. So I have my freshman year experience, my mass media and society class, that's my major class for mass communications. And then I have my math class class. What's on the agenda today is in between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. class, I um, am gonna go get my ID because I need that like for everything. Like I really need my ID. I set my alarm for seven because I'm trying to think to give myself some time to get ready. And then on top of that, um, because I'm walking to my class, I need to make sure that I'm getting there on time. Not, I'm gonna get ready around like, 7 30 ish, maybe. Maybe like 7 30 7 45 ish. So then I can give myself like that full hour or like 30 minutes to actually get to class because I cannot stand being late. Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome to. Y'all know we do this video every year. The first day of school, get ready with me. So now it's a college edition. So I hope y'all like it. I already packed my bag and stuff. Um, I just got like a notebook, some pens and pencils, and then I brought my laptop and this little bag that I, um, like a little tote bag. I made sure to get a big bag um, so I can fit all my stuff. If y'all haven't watched my back to school clothing haul or anything, watch that because that's where all really the clothes and bags and shoes and everything came from. And I just have this outfit, which y'all will see later. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda today. So right now I can just check some of my emails. Cause look, when I tell y'all I wake up to emails, like I do not be playing. Like it be emails for real, for real, so. And just respond to these and then, yeah. I'm only gonna take them two out because dang. Y'all, it's 7 30 now. I'm doing good on time. Just to keep it, I don't matter where you go, whether it's school, whether it's work, always give yourself like an hour in advance. Like, I've always been that way. Like, even if y'all watch my own high school get ready with me, y'all would see I would get ready way before time. Um, because it's like you never like you know how much time you're gonna need and like being late, right? No, especially when it comes to like school or like work or an important like meeting or something. Just give yourself time. It's crazy. It's like I actually live at my school, like. So 
tomorrow is Thursday, which is like Tuesday and Thursdays. I have one class, which is my humanity class, but I think that's my 8 a.m. class. Like, um, but I'm fine with that because it's like it's only one class. It's not like I have an 8 a.m. and then another class after that. It's just that one class that day, so that's good. I don't know, a lot of people say they dread ADMs. Maybe I'll go to dread mine, but I like school like early in the morning. I like that my last class is at one o'clock. I really wish it was probably at like 11 or something so I could just do all my classes like back to back and just be done, but it's whatever. I think that one o'clock class gonna get on my nerves because it's like, I'm like coming back in my dorm just to go right back out again. Um, but today, I don't know if I'm gonna do that because you know, I stopped getting my ID. Y'all, you know, I wanted to post the dorm tour before this video came out, but it's just like, I'm not done with my room. Like, believe it or not, I'm not. Like, this whole week, I had a whole week, but literally, it was a whole week full of events. So, it's not like I just had time to record i mean i could have made time but like who wants to make time when you're trying to enjoy you know like college and stuff so yeah, sounds like an excuse but i want to make sure that the dorm is exactly how i want it before doing the video so the dorm tour might actually just be the last thing So I kind of know what they expect from every single year. Um, tell me what y'all think about that. But like, just a little rundown from my, um, you know, high school crowd or whatever. High schoolers who either can a freshman, sophomore, junior, fresh. I mean, senior. I can make a whole nother video about this, but I just want to drop some gems, like. High school is going to go by way quicker than y'all think. Like, I promise you that. It's going to seem like, you know, you have forever to do things and you have forever to decide. Especially for, like, the juniors and the seniors. You know, ninth and 10th graders, y'all can still listen to this too. But really for the 11th and 12th graders, like, high school, you're literally almost done. Like, seniors, you already know that. But juniors, this is the time you start getting on your stuff now, especially if you're like planning to go to college. Um, for all high schoolers, get your SAT, ACT stuff done and out the way as soon as possible so you don't have to worry about this stuff later. So that way if you do have like a desired college that you want to go to, you can already have the scores for that. When picking a college, take location um, into consideration. Um, credibility, most importantly, into consideration. Um, for me, I knew a HBCU was the only way for me. Um, so, you know, take that into consideration as well. But really just anywhere that's comfortable for you, don't feel like you have to go to a school where everybody's going to be successful. You don't have to go to the most popular school to be successful you'll be surprised at like how many schools can offer you what you're looking for. You have all the high school to really think about it, but for the 11th graders mainly, I would say get on that now. So senior year for you is a breeze because we got hit with COVID. So like a lot of the tests and stuff we were supposed to pass in 10th grade, we ended up taking them senior year because of the whole COVID outbreak thing. So a lot of my senior year was making up for 10th grade, which is weird. Like not like in a way like i do a temperate work but like just making up those tests like why am i still taking an english <laughs> an english class you know what i'm saying or like a u.s history fsa um but covid's kind of like you know it's still here whatever but it's still dying down a little bit so y'all have the time you know use all your resources now seniors this y'all last ride make it count 
get involved and take this from somebody who never was involved. Like, <laughs> I used to stay home as much as I can. If you're part-time like I was, you know, you have like a half schedule or something, utilize that while you're out of school. Don't hang out all the time. You know, work. Have some time to chill, you know, set your time to chill because it is your senior year. But if you're coming to college, I would suggest you to work or find something like a hobby or something that makes money or like, you know, just utilize your time and don't think for now, think for the future because I wish I could go back to them part-time days, you know what I'm saying? Like, where I had time to like make extra money or had time to do like extra things, you know, towards my future. But yeah, I'm off my soapbox. I'm done with my eyebrows. I'm gonna wait for the eyelashes to kind of like dry a little bit. I'll be back to put those on and then we're gonna finish the hair and then go on to changing and all of that. It's 7.43, so it's close to eight. So that kind of gave me a time to like, see what, like, where my classes is. I'm doing really good on time, actually. I might even have some extra time, so. I ain't gonna lie, I'm loving the background, like the setup. I'm loving the lighting and stuff. Y'all, these animal eyelashes, y'all know, cause I'm like a makeup artist or whatever. I bought these, this tray of lashes. And they literally are so cute. Like, these with some thick lashes, like the ones that are like not the mint, like the fox mint ones, they be so cute. Cause sometimes I feel like the mints be too much. Like they just be a little too much. But these are like cute. I know one of y'all gonna ask, you know, where the lashes from. So I'm just go ahead and link that in the bio because every time i drop like a get ready with me video or any type of get ready with me someone asks for the lashes so now that i can remember i'm gonna just drop it anyway see how natural they are i haven't even clipped them together but they're not too extra like they're cute you know baby lotion that to play with i need to make sure i lotion my feet mainly because um, I'm wearing sandals today. I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna catch y'all in a second. Okay, we all dressed. Let me show y'all the drip. This outfit looks way better. Well, it don't actually look way better. It's more fitting for the weather because I'm gonna show y'all probably later the outfit that I was gonna wear. Um, you know, it was a long sleeve too, but it was just like more baggy. Like, I feel like that outfit was more for the fall. Real cute. Real for the, I love these plaid pants, y'all. Oh my gosh, I don't understand. Yeah. And just a little tip for the girls. If you ever want to bring out the most basic outfit ever, jewelry. I literally tell y'all that in every video to wear jewelry, but gold jewelry will bring it out. Especially on like brown tone runs. But I used to really be a silver girly. I always used to wear silver jewelry. Um, and I still do depending on like the outfit, but gold has been doing the job lately. Like for real. Y'all already know how this goes. You only need a little bit of this. This strong. One of the adults, I think she was like an adult in my, um, one of my subscribers, I think. She was like, you're the only young girl I see that likes Chanel number five. Which is true because a lot of people say it smell like old lady, like old grandma. But I like the spicy, like musk smell that it has. I'm not really the type to get like a perfume that's like really strong. But it's something about that one that I like. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But I go over it with the gumdrop, the beet mist. And this is like my signature smell. Like, I mix them too. I don't know if you're supposed to mix scents, but who cares? 
Y'all know I don't really eat in the morning. Um, I've just always been that way. I'll probably eat after my 10 o'clock class or something. Me and my roommate will have a class at 9 a.m., which I didn't know. Um, but it's crazy because I'm always the first one to be up. Like, I'm always early, so it's not like we like clash or something. This is really cute, y'all. Look, I definitely am gonna take some photos today. The good thing about being in college is I can always come back and just curl my hair before my next class to take pictures. So yeah, we love college. Wish me luck. I'm gonna just. It's 8:01, so that gives me like a perfect time to kind of see everything. I wonder if I should start going now. But then again, I don't want to be hella early. Maybe around like 8.20, 8.30 maybe. We'll see. But yeah, I need some lip gloss. Do I? I think it's fine. But yeah. I'll keep y'all updated. Wish me luck. Okay, I just took the elevator downstairs. I ain't gonna hold you. Actually, it feels really good out here, honestly, because you know it is still in the morning time. But uh, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Actually, that's a lie. We took, um, what was I was about to say. We took our own, me, my boyfriend, and my roommate, Ari. We took like our own, uh, like, stroll through the campus. Like, we already had did that ourselves um but i'll be forgetting like the dorm area is really considered like the back of the school so the path that i'm walking is me going back to the front i think this is the path we took right yeah because we came here we went through the back we kept going straight and then we turned yeah okay so i know where i'm going like the first week is really just signing syllabus and i didn't know that college was the type where like if there's nothing to do they're just gonna like send you like they're just gonna <laughs> tell you to go whereas high school they have to have you in class for a certain amount of time so i guess that's probably like the cool thing about college because like there's nothing to do shit you just leave i'm probably talking y'all head off but it's just because i'm by myself like don't do too much y'all y'all need to be here to listen to me <laughs> it's me still recording after i said i'm shut up later but yeah y'all don't understand y'all are like my friends like Y'all are, when I have had them, well, I talk to y'all anyway. Like, I put y'all before real humans. Well, y'all are real humans, but just understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah, I just arrived in my car. I got here early as hell. Like, I almost walked in and forgot that they had, like, another class going on. It's not even 8.30. It's 8.25 right now and I'm already here. I'm just gonna sit on TikTok for these last couple minutes. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with my second class. I can tell my second class, y'all, is gonna be the fun class or whatever. Um, but it's 10.52. What I like about college is they let you out at that time. They do not be playing. If it's time to go, they gonna let you out. But yeah, I don't have my next class until like one o'clock, I think. Yeah, that's one to 1.50. I'm loving this college life. It's real cool, real chill. It's a vibe. Um, so yeah, let me put this camera up. I've gotten so used to talking to the camera out in public to the point where I don't care. And half of the time, like in this generation, people actually be like jumping in my videos. And I like that. Like, I feel like back in the day, everybody would look at me like I'm crazy. Should I walk the other way? No, I'm good this way. So yeah, I'm gonna just listen to some music and just walk to where I need to go. I'll talk to you guys when I need to. Hey y'all, so I made it back to the dorm area. Me and Imari spent two. What was we about to do? Oh, go see if the calf open. yeah, go see if the calf is open. Let's see what we're gonna eat at the calf today. Thank you. Y'all already know I'm coming to the sandwich area. 
I ain't gonna hold you. He be talking bad about um, the cap is good. Like, I don't know. So I got a sandwich that y'all, well, I don't know if I showed y'all, but I, this is what I've been eating for like welcome week and everything. I've been eating this um, ham and turkey um, sandwich. But not turkey, I don't even like turkey, but I just tried it today. Um, I usually would get ham and salami. Mm. I'll eat a lot when I'm on the way to my next class, when I'm in my next class, or when I'm done with my next class. I'm not gonna keep pulling the camera out. It's getting on my nerves. So, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy this time that I have. And then we'll see where the day takes us. I'm gonna say something to them or no? Just right now. Yeah, I'll see him later. Okay, y'all. So I'm chilling in my boyfriend's dorm. Just until it's time to go. Back to class? Yeah. What time you I'm gonna leave at like 12.30. 12.30? Or 12.20. I like to get there early. 12.20. 12.20. But I'm in his zone because he's on the first floor and I'm on the fourth floor. And then like my HBCU has this thing where like I still haven't got my key yet. So I don't want to keep having to see it go up to the fourth floor. I'm heading to the room. I'm getting comfortable. Actually. It's kind of getting a little better. Yeah, because like we're starting classes, so it's like mm -hmm. we we know we got something to do, so it's not as boring anymore. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the flip. We just finished lunch. Lunch was good, right? Yeah, that one. The fries. Bro, I don't know what it is. They fries be busting. Fries be busting. But yeah. Okay, y'all. My last class. Class is over. When I tell you, first of all, <laughs> she talked for five minutes and told us which way to exit and we were done, literally. That class is my quantitative reasoning class. Now at first, I thought that I had that class because I did bad on like my math tests and stuff. But I was like, that, that couldn't make sense. That doesn't make sense because I know that I passed my math test that we took in the senior year or 11th grade year, whichever year that was. But um, I now know why I'm in that class. I'm in that class because of my major. So like the science majors and like the business majors and stuff, they have a different math because their math counts according to their major. So they are like in the calculus classes, like the classes like that. Hey guys, I have finally made it back to my dorm. My first day was actually a breeze. However, I just talked to my CA um, and he talked about some, like he was asking me, you know, and he was, I was telling him how many classes I have because I have six classes. He was like, whew, that's a lot. Me coming from high school with freaking eight classes, seven classes a day, I'm like, that's nothing. He talked about some, yeah, for college, you know, it is. He said people usually with those like six classes and stuff, like eight, 17, 18 credit hours or whatever, usually graduate early like that. I had no clue. I'm thinking that's regular. Hell, I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was a pretty good day like i honestly can get used to this college life like it's cool it's the vibe of course i'm saying it kind of early but i mean right now it seems like a vibe to me it's real chill i'm done with class already i like that you know some you have some professors that like to use up all the time possible but for the most part if the professors have nothing to teach you or there's nothing to do they'll let you out i guess i'll just end the video here thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoy my channel enjoy everything um is excited about this college series as much as i am this hbcu one at that um, I'll keep y'all updated. I'll have a lot of vlogs coming, a lot of everything really. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of videos on the way. And I'll just keep y'all updated. I'll see y'all in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kayla Diane. Follow me on TikTok at Kayla Diane. Follow my Twitter at Kayla Diane. 
and yeah just hop on if you ain't already on the bandwagon with hbcu series get on it what are you doing like you're stupid are you dumb like okay but yeah i'm done so i'll see you guys in my next video bye